What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we are attacking a Prussian army that's trapped in the port in Thessaloniki, I believe. Uh, Joseph Retzel is in command of this force and we will destroy them with our superior forces, although this force is currently unbloodied. So let's get to it and get some experience on this army. So we're still laying siege to a number of enemy cities. We're not actually attacking uh, yet, but that's okay. The idea is you siege these cities and then you push your line forward. So those areas behind the lines get captured in due course, especially when you've got armies like, well, factions like Prussia that have arrayed significant forces against you. It's very, very tempting to not necessarily smash yourself into every into every uh, engagement that you find. So, let's get my guns up on the hill on the right flank. We are going to advance carefully. Because the enemy might be depleted, but they are still capable. I'm not going to do much in the way of forming up yet. I want to push up and form up. The enemy forces are depleted. Okay, they've deployed broadly. Okay, right, let's not select my musk of mercenaries. Push up our line. Spread my melee troops about. So my artillery is going to be engaging their artillery, but they are fortified. Where's my heavy cavalry on the left? Push up towards the enemy. Keep advancing, keep the pressure up. Again, we've got uh, weather related sound issues. Push my mortars up, even though it's not irrelevant, but just not ideal. Let's get a gun team to blast the Freikorps cavalry with shrapnel shot. Knock some holes in their formation. The enemy are doing the same to us. Begin to push up. my heavy cavalry keep that pushing up you can't trap them Get the great guns engaging the death's head hussars okay where's my okay islamic swordsman plus dervishes Neiman advance into a position to begin engaging the enemy artillery. Form a defensive position on the flank. Okay, my great gun engage other targets. My heavies are going to engage their lights. Okay, now we move up with speed Let's 
see if we can push some of these units through the town rapidly. Pivot the cavalry back, all my artillery, engage the enemy in the center. How it's, I mean, the mortars are still pushing up. To be honest, the artillery is probably going to have to focus on some of this infantry. You men run. So they position such that they aren't able to use their firing drills. Okay, my men are reloading. But they're going to begin pouring fire. Okay, we pushed around the flank through the town nicely enough. So those guys should be getting experiencing some difficulties. Hindu warriors hold. In case the engineers try to push through this gap. Just push up. Okay, let's focus on bombarding units on the hill. Oh, the dragoons have dismounted. Bold of them. Right flank has given way. Let's commit some of our forces to the battle now. You engage the general's bodyguard. You're engaging the foot line infantry unit. To get the Gurkhas in here against the line infantry, get the Fry Corps against, or well, these, my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards rather, against the Eighth Regiment. Not wrong unit. Okay, you men form up like so, form a gap for the Islamic Swordsmen to push through. Oh, you guys have hit into squares and all sorts of unpleasantness. Okay, let's get my cavalry around these defences. Can my general's bodyguard take out a Hussar unit? I think they can. Ah, uh, I think when I, I again... Cavalry defences, no bueno. Can my Gurkhas to attack the 20th? Islamic Swordsmen hit the Swiss Grenadiers in the backside because they're engaging our Hindu warriors. This you never had he. Get over here. Don't protect your general. We've got these Swiss Grenadiers surrounded. Sharpshooters on the flank causing problems. Charge them into the 38th.
Grenadiers are holding strong. Oh, mines have hit this duck eel. So charging this unit of light infantry with Gurkhas uphill is a bad idea. Excellent. Push up melee troops. This unit is broken. Get some of my foot infantry around. Kill the enemy general. We're engaging the grenadiers in the flank. Excellent. Charge on. Except for the grenadiers, obviously. Charge. Well, these are marines. Oh, no, no, not cavalry, not my general. No, 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 no. Some of them are still going to run into it, though. Run directly away from it. All artillery ceasefire. So I've got you and I've got you. Okay, you come, my Hadi. Do not have many cavalry units left. How my mortars are finally opened up, but a bit late. Where's my Hadi? A few weak units of Marines. Just go after a few of these units just to try and clear them out. Especially these units that have so few men. Yes, destroy some of these elite Prussian units. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Twenty first regiment getting slaughtered. Yeah, it wasn't close. It was a bit dodgy, but we surrounded the enemy inc and just completely piled in on them from all directions. What's not to like? Two hundred forty eight men remaining. Yes, sir. Okay, let's move you guys away because I'm anticipating an. Auto resolve. Yes, I am. How about you? You men are punished and push up. Garrus and Thessaloniki. So, they got an army up here. They got an army in the town. I'm happy for the town to. Uh, I'm happy just to keep sieging the town. We've got some. Got a uh, agent helping convert Istanbul anyway. Keep the infrastructure upgrading. Okay, that's all good. You're sieging Genoa. You're all being, you're being you're repairing everything in Venice. Getting two sloops recruiting there. Good, 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 good. Apart from that, I think everything is largely done. Again, sieges everywhere else. We can't attack these guys because there's. Because that's. Ugh. Yeah. You're holding. Make sure all of you guys are replenishing. Good. Okay, across the board. I think everything's just good. Raoul Pindi, there is nothing for you to research. You're being destroyed. Good. That means we can battle away some of this garrison. Recalling my ships from the hunt for the Russian fleet. They're not in India. Yeah, the Prussian ships, not the Russian ships. Uh, no combination. 
Still more troops wander down to their assigned armies. And we're also sieging Mexico. To be honest, we're sieging lots of towns right now. But the main drive, the driving effort is to defeat the... Uh, we're going to fight this manually so I don't damage this army. But I believe this is the end of Amsterdam. <laughs> the garrison is spent attempting to defeat us. It will not work. And that will be the end of the, the United Provinces, actually. Yes, that will be the end of them. Nice. So, once what, what once was a mighty enemy is now little more than a husk. Although, it appears the battle is taking some time to load. Very curious, considering they have a very small army. Maybe they are confused. Oh well. But yes, my, my overall plan is... To keep doing what I'm doing, keep engaging the enemy where appropriate, and maintain the pressure and be ready for the next eventual conflict, which will be Russia. And to be honest, I will probably um, dump troops in the Caucasus ready to make that happen. So lots of these, I mean, just deploy one line of troops. Come on, let's not waste any more time than is absolutely necessary here. Oh, the general's bodyguard's trying to fire. He wants to fire. Camel mercenaries. Advance and get ready to shoot at the general. I think technically we should just shot him off his horse, but... I think it's the general's bodyguard without a general unit. Didn't get your uh, weapons out in time. The general's bodyguard will fall quite rapidly to our camel mercenaries. Being engaged by the Amazons to the rear. So let's charge my camels up in, right in front of the Swiss mountain Jaeger. Blast them at short range. Yeah, the sound files never worked for Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Actually, just charge them. There's no point trying to shoot them. Yeah, wavering, broken, broken, wavering, confident. They went to shaken for a minute. There we go. Yeah, there was no need to do any auto-resolve shenanigans. And there goes the Dutch. Finally, they had a massive force against us in northern Italy. And that has been incrementally taken away from them. And now the Dutch are gone. We stand in their place. The same will happen with Prussia, and the same will happen again with Russia. Although, shh, don't tell them that. They're pulling their armies back. Interesting. I wonder if they're afraid they're gonna Russia's gonna cross cross and take Copenhagen. Oh, they're pulling troops back from Hanover. Another fleet and another army's embarking. They're bringing more troops down into the Balkans, but not a, not a, not a decisive amount. They're in the Alps, but then again, we just need to reinforce in Italy. Zagreb looks potentially vulnerable. What are you doing? Oh, don't! I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna manually fight it because it's horse guard artillery. I don't want to resolve it because then all of these guys will take like 700 casualties. Just send a cavalry in to, well, all my cavalry in to destroy them. 
because it's horse guard artillery. The best artillery in the game. 100% you destroy it. But one thing you don't do is auto resolve and cause a bunch of casualties. So no everyone except my kids or Bashi. Watch them kill my general or something. I'm going to fire off one shot. Yeah, they've got some good got some kills. But yeah, let's just speed this up. There we go. So we lost... I think it was... Nine cavalrymen? 22. Oh, who got hit? You got hit, you got hit. I was just counting up these guys. Five plus six. But still. Effectively for free, we have been able to destroy a unit of the best artillery available to the Prussian army. Looks like they are reinforcing Copenhagen, which is ideal. So Russia is on the warpath. I think I might boost my troops in the Caucasus because that can be quite an easy way to break out and do some real damage to the Russians in the east. If they do turn on us. Although there's two stacks right there in Astrakhan. So maybe they might not be quite so easily defeated after all. Yeah, the garrisoning Sofia. Upper Louisiana is still there. It's New Spain is not coming to the rescue of Mexico. Ah, oh, the Genoese are, s are sallying as well. Yes. Excellent. So then that will finally be Italy secured. All of our forces can then turn to help push against Prussia. Nice, nice, nice. Got one set of mortars, they're a bit of an annoyance. Everything else is generally okay. Again, deploy back, force the mortars to the crewmen to abandon their guns. And then we will defeat them, we'll destroy them, etc. etc. I mean, I know you guys must think, oh, what a pansy. But yeah, in a way, kind of am. Let's try not to take. Try not to take as many casualties as possible because this is an army that's going to be squaring off with Prussia fairly soon. And I want to try and keep them as healthy as possible. I've got some bug artillery over here. Just form up. They're mostly sending just regular infantry against us. Just let's speed up time, watch them advance, let my artillery just engage at will. Yeah, the infantry's all small and depleted. Where are their mortar crew? They're not firing. Get my artillery just to engage something on the field in front of them. So they're probably going to do a bit of a redeploy, rejig, redeploy, rejig, redeploy. So let's just bombard until they're ready to sort this out, because when they do attack, they'll abandon their mortars, and that's what we want. No time for walking, good sir. Okay, so the... So the other gun team just now picked... <laughs> 
Just keep picking new targets, because otherwise we'll never shoot at anything. You're wavering. You could possibly route. Yeah, I was going to say, you could possibly route because you're actually not in the city. And when they're not in, within the walls, that's when they are much more susceptible to routing. But now, until they get more within our... within range, I'm going to keep things at time compression. You can charge my guns if you like. I've got loads of crewmen. Especially if we just killed three men there. Crewman alone could probably handle this. Keep time sped up. Oh, should we be mean and switch to shrapnel shot? <laughs> that blew half the 11th regiment away. Switch the other set of guns to shrapnel shot. Keep on engaging. Yeah, they broke. They are on the verge of breaking. Ha <laughs> ha Abandon your guns, mateys. I'm firing along the line of the armed citizenry. They haven't even, apart from this unit on the flank, they've not actually got within musket range. I do like the idea of focusing on this clump. There goes the armed citizenry. First of all, he's crash home. They're going to immediately break after that. More shrapnel shots slamming home. <laughs> I mean, I would say poor devils, but... Uh, you know what? I don't think I do feel that way. <laughs> Abandon your guns. They're actually going to get within musket range. Well, temporarily. Volley fire present. Shrapnel shots come in to help. To help with them. Okay, these guns over here get to work on a breach. To be honest, you both do the same. We're not going to need you to defeat the army on the field, so let's just speed up time. Because ultimately I want these guys to break a, ho break a hole in the wall so we can send cavalry in to deal with the mortars. So we don't have to send one individual unit to do the job. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the tra tra trail teams. Trailing teams. I get you. Move you guys like so. Let's see if that takes you within within uh, mortar range. Okay. 
that's the last infantry unit gone. I want them to advance just within musket range. Okay, now the lancers get to come in and finish the job. And the mortars are going to hit bang on. Oh, they've only killed one. Not bad at all. Still one, but now we're close enough. They can't hit us. And down they go. Good. Good. Victory is ours. So that is Genoa. Oh. Uh, Okay, let's fight this one. <laughs> oh, oh. So many tempting auto-resolves, but I don't want to do it. I can't do it. I can't damage all my other armies. My The two armies that came in in reinforcement are, are both in good condition. I want to keep it that way. I want to keep it that way so I can move on. So, form one infantry line plus a reserve. So, you've got enemy reinforcements coming in, gun line up on the hill. Melee troops get over here. Camels get over here. Ah, artillery that was left un unprotected. Run my infantry up in front of the line. Run you guys back. Team in charge, the general's bodyguards. You know what, everybody get over here. Because against this infantry line, I don't give a damn. Advance, the enemy general is killed. Slaughter them, make them pay for what they've done. Push through. Yeah, there goes the field army. Oh, the regiment of horses come back. But yeah, methinks this was a, a desperate act of a desperate people. Ceasefire, the artillery. Native Lancers get the 8th. Oh, one going absolutely flying. Hands in the air like you just don't care. And then it's just the regiment of horse left. A brave effort but foolhardy. You will all bow down to me. Yeah. Heroic is uh, is a bit of a stretch. There we go. <laughs> the ships are panicking. Let me do something. I want to do something. Oh, wow. Now we're going to be attacking this Prussian army here. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Let's 
push on the way. We're going to be entering the map piecemeal. We're um, completely on the flank and we're probably not going to be able to save our ally. He may have made a boo boo. Eastern European mercenaries, provincial cav, general bodyguard. Although all this artillery that won't attack us. Actually the mortars will. Yeah, the mortars will get it will get us. get my guns off to one side. So they can open up without fear of friendly fire. Dragoons, Freikor, Line Infantry. See, your, your, your troops can enter the field pretty quickly when you've not got some weird deployment zone thing going on. Keep splitting up what direction or where my guns are going to deploy. Just generally try let my battle line form before we do anything too crazy. We're not desperate to save our allies. It was somewhat foolhardy for them to attack in the first place. Still a glorious spread of Mysore troops. Very much making me feel a lot better. Yeah, let's begin to put some of my cavalry units on the flank. Some artillery in a position to open fire. Well, let's speed up time while my army deploys and, and uh, Georgia gets battered. So the mortars can spin around and get us. The heavy horse guard artillery won't get us, which is really nice. Foot artillery go for the dragoons here because they're doubled up. Fire. Are they attempting to redeploy over towards our forces? Probably. Makes sense. But let's speed up time. Oh, my great guns are going to be opening up against... I suppose my, mortar, my artillery should be opening up against their mortars first and foremost. The cavalry aren't a great threat to us. You actually may want to fire at the mortars as well, because you're firing like along the, along their formation. So, in theory, you may have more luck.
Okay, now let's push up aggressively in the knowledge that we have a glorious horse at our back. Where's my Sipahi? Crush the general. They get the enemy countering. Halt, let them charge. She don't. She counter charge. Dervishes charge. Human advance. Hindu musketeers advance into the corner. They've charged the enemy artillery. So now this becomes a lot more feasible. Push up some melee troops. You men are ready. You men withdraw, bring up the Hindu Musketeers, bring back the Sipahi because the General's bodyguard made a run for it. Form square as well, run through the enemy square here. You men charge the Freikorps cavalry, you men advance. Hindu warriors will annihilate the Freikorps cavalry. Kizobashi push through the formation. Horse guards are wavering. Okay, my two gun formations on the left engage the 114th. The ones on the right engage the enemy center. Push up, put the Kizobashi on the flank. And the Hindu warriors I just put in. No, it wasn't. Dervishes charge the measurement of horse. Hindu musketeers form square. These hatchet wielding dervishes will bring down those enemy cavalrymen. So you men hold. Okay, you men form square. General's bodyguard has hit them with our. Islamic swordsmen. Those are only militia, so we're going to drive forward here. Push up the cavalry, push up everyone else, push up you guys. We're going to get through this militia here, we're going to get through the general's bodyguard. Okay, you men form up. Islamic swordsman hit the militia. Push on into the Freikor cavalry. The elephant musketeers are kind of a bit out on a limb here. All the artillery's gone, courtesy of the Georgians. Hindi musketeers engage. Islamic swordsmen and dervishes charge the regiment of foot. You men cease fire and charge. You men cease fire and charge. Pivot into the field artillery, but be very careful. You're now in a bit of a stake alley. They push forward through the stakes. There we go. You men push into the engineers.
There go the enge engineers are gone already. It's a bit of a surprise. Slaughter them. Oh, well, there we go. We're not going to keep charging around because they've got lots of enemy cavalry defences. And that was still quite a good result. There's only 113 left remaining. Good. Württemberg is going to Württemberg. Greece is going to Greece and Quebec's going to Quebec. Classic. Right here. Come on, let me at them. We've got 176,000. Alexandria is blockaded. Uh, not really. Ooh. Rebellion. Let's quickly deal with that. Fairly sure I can get there and back. Okay, because you're already quite badly depleted, we're going to move you away. And you're going to auto capture Genoa. Excellent, the city is ours. Let's get building. I'm going to build a madrasa here in Verona. Now you can replenish. Let's get you into the port and get it repaired. There we go. You, we, I mean, we need to be ready to deal with a resurgent, well, not resurgent, a Russia that wants to fight us. A large Greek navy contingent there. Natural causes. One of my generals. No, let's get a new one. Dipan Karja. Natural causes. Oh, that's a general I recognize. You've been around for a while. Let's get a native musketman auxiliary unit to bolster your forces. Lots of good traits gained. So the Savoy Rebellion's already been dealt with. Fleet arrives. Okay, let's get you into Vengerla. Get you repaired. Construction. Keep on growing. There's a mansion in Georgia. Kidoki. Wineries in Greece. A small madras in Savoy we've done. Global trading company. Cotton plantations. More goods for trade. Chikasa. We've got a lot of work to do in this region. Converting everyone to glorious Islam. We're going to keep the madrasa here to try and spawn more agents. Public servant dies. That's not great. I guess it was... Actually, you're all fairly good, so I'm going to leave it at that. So you're trying to join them, I'd say. You're going to take two of those. The other two are going to go to here. Just keep deploying more troops to Europe because we very much need them. Uh, your army, your recruitment is still going. So get Kizobashi, Native Lancer, Sipahi, Camel Mercenary. Nine slots. Oh, you've got no, you've got plenty of infantry. Let's do that. Good. Not specifically the Adriatic I want to go to, but it was this part of the world, so now you are at full strength. You are going to push up to here. Let's get more troops into the Caucasus. Same as you. Okay, 
We've broadly gone past the point of needing. Most. We're needing more troops in Europe. Eh, we'll take a dervish unit up to you. Region captured the Netherlands. Yeah, those two bumped into each other, but that's okay. So at Amsterdam, let's get repairing. Let's take... Let's get you guys replenished. Infrastructure's good. Let's destroy the University of Utrecht. You men move back. You can probably... Well, you will be able to kill these last 53 men. It cost you 700 men of your own, but there you are. I think you guys need to be replenished again. No. Maybe not. Brussels is converting. Let's do some reconnaissance in force. You're within... Okay, right. So I want... You over the bridge you walk siege Hanover and occupy that army you can push up and attack this detachment here in Cookshaven. I mean you're on strike but once I destroy the uni actually the university is not a big deal let's exempt you from tax and hope by replenishing you guys plus repairing your buildings you will be brought to the fold yeah you would have been right for an attack against copenhagen but now although it's a fairly bad army they've reinforced you with hmm. i might hold you there though i can always redeploy you into and over if things get dicey Let's do the same reconnaissance in force here, except not quite so aggressive because plenty of our armies are, plenty of our troops rather, are depleted. It's to the point where you can probably swap. Okie dokie, so what we're going to want to do is, like we said, attack this small Prussian detachment just to make sure we tied up behind our lines and then this force can sit between Hanover and the bridge and that will allow us to provide support to both of those armies depending on what happens and as quickly as possible bring up those, more, those extra armies from uh, the Netherlands. That is what we want. So deploy the artillery behind to bombard. We want to push up as quickly as possible and surround them. A lot of Islamic swordsmen in this army. They're going to be pushing up the flanks like my cavalry. My elephants are going to be in the centre. Blasting us with shrapnel shot. That's for darn sure. And quick line. So let's spread you guys out in the middle. Don't care if they charge. All my other infantry. I 
begin to surround. They may have bought themselves some time with their little suicidal charge here. But it will cost them in the long run. They sucked in a lot of troops. Where's the other Islamic Swordsman unit? I mean, they're blasting us straight through the center, but that's okay. Plenty of extra firepower. Hopefully my general steadies your nerves. He and skirmishers go for the general's bodyguard. See? That brought them back into the fold. You're engaging. That's another... Yeah, they, those, those units are spooky. Kill the enemy general. Pushing. Probably get one of you guys to run around like so. Islamic swordsman. Get you over here to plug a gap. And they go straight for that gap. Now I've created it. These guys are going to run straight through it. Oh, I almost clicked end. No, sir. See, now you've made it. Where did those giants go again? There's one guy left. Choose your next move wisely. God, he's some kind of wizard. Second rank. Second rank. Also fluffed it. Third rank. Got him. <laughs> Just keep on at them. You've got all of them, and now it's just you and your one militiaman. Not really close. I would not say that at all. But yeah, Waldo Frien destroyed. So then push forward. This fleet joins the other fleets at harbour here, and again, I could just fight them. Destroy, I should just destroy their fleet. Take two entire. Although, is that another fleet? That, that's another fleet, but that's knackered. Oh, should I do it? I think I should do it. I mean, I've got overwhelming naval superiority, and this will be the large naval battle I have ever fought. So, you know what? Screw it. But, looking at the timer, I believe. I mean, it gives me. It says the over... Oh, no, it's because I didn't... My, my reinforcements aren't here. No, run! 
What? Do I not get to withdraw? No! Well, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't... I thought when I retreated I could pull back. Not that I would lose my entire navy. Okay, that's good to know. Let's get building. And I do have another navy. Let's bring you over. I think the... Yeah. You know... That's made me not very interested in trying to push forward and attack them. If I screw up the positioning, I know I lose all my troops. Eh, uh, yeah. No, let's not do that. Let's just stay here blockading them. Done all this stuff. I've done all the rebellion stuff. You're replenishing. Let's see if Geno. We need to see if Genoa rebels. Okay, let's hit end turn. Oh, I could have definitely fought some more in the Balkans. But let's see how Prussia responds to our attack. I mean, you can push us out of that area if you like. We're still sieging Istanbul and you're not going to save it. It is interesting. They appear to be committing more troops into defending the Balkans and their home territories. That is interesting. But we're not seeing widespread attrition flags yet, so they aren't economically ruined. Ooh, am I going to want to fight that? Of course I'm going to want to fight that. But looking at the timer, well, I believe it's time to turn the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the destruction of another Prussian army. Well, I say hopefully. I mean, look at it. Come on. See you next time, everyone.